Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and today I want to talk about the Query Data Web Service, which is um, really similar to the Read Data Web Service, but there's one little difference. The Query Data Web Services can not only return either zero or one entries in return, it can return a whole list. And the second thing is um, that it can use these input fields to, um, yeah, um, make an additional yeah, where clause like um, filtering on um, the returns. So here um, you see I already created a uh, query data web service, which I called get B partners. Um, I used the table CB partner. So um, yeah, the table you use here um, is used to provide you um, the corresponding columns in this dropdown here. And as you see in my output fields, I get the business partner ID, the name and the value. Then I have the parameters. If you are um, not sure which parameters you, uh, you have to use, then go to this website. It's um, in the Adempierre wiki, but it's still valid for Adempierre. And um, search the query data web service. And yeah, you need um, the table name, the action, and the record ID, but um, you don't have to fill it because it's um, ignored, but it has to be in the um, in the parameters here, otherwise it won't work. You also can um, specify a filter, which is another additional where clause. So I, um, I will show it to you here. So I can use filter of type um, let's say free and it should yes it should um, give me an error because um, the reason here is um, you don't want the filter to be free because it um, adds a where clause and um, yeah you can use sql injection here so that's not not a good idea to use this as um, a free but um, if you really want you could do it, I would re wouldn't recommend it to you, but you can set a constant value. For example, you could say um, is active equals yes. So it will only give me active, um, active entries, but I don't need this um, in my showcase here. So I delete it again. Yeah, I have um, the, record uh, the record ID, which is free, but um, we won't use this um, parameter. We have the table name, which is free because I want to show you a little thing. And we have the action, which I defined as a constant because it has to be read in the query data web service, otherwise it won't work. So yeah, my input fields um, are name and value. So I can filter entries either by name or by their value. Um, yeah, these are my output fields and I added the web service execution role. So the web service user, which is part of this role, can execute this. So here's my plain request. I haven't um, created it yet. Um, so let's do this. Um, yeah, we use the CB partner table. Uh, the reason I made the table name free is because I want to show you what happens when you make this free. I always recommend you to um, set this as a constant because now I can, for example, use the AD user table. And if I just cut all this stuff and run my web service, you see that I get a list of all the users. And yeah, that's the reason why you want to make the table name as a constant in your database. So let me change this really quick. It's a constant and it's CB part. No. Okay, so when I run this now, I get a little error. So um, apparently I've made a little mistake. CB partner. Ah, it's the record ID I changed. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry for this. Um, I want the hey, the table name to be a constant of CB partner. Save this. Okay. So um, 
when I don't specify any um, of my input fields and simply call my web service, I get a list of all the entries it can provide me. So let's um, add some other fields. Um, the record ID is not used here. It's, uh, it doesn't matter if I provide it or not, so I don't do this. Um, I'm not sure about the record ID variable, if it is used here or not, but I think it's not. Um, the filter is a constant, so I can't use this. The action is also already a constant, so I can't use this. Paging, uh, don't worry if you don't see the paging in your web service call, because um, I am running a custom version of item here where I added a paging functionality to the web services. So let's get to the interesting um, part. Oops, I deleted too much. Um, the input fields. So when you generate the um, the request, it provides you all this stuff which you don't really need. So I just remove everything except for column. Uh, at type, you could um, specify which type this is. This is um, useful if you use some um, reference override in the input fields. Uh, let me show it to you. You can, um, if you have a custom column in your custom table and you have a reference like a search field or something, then you can use the reference override here to yeah override the reference of um, whoops, this input field, but I don't need this here. So I give just my name column here and let's say we want to find Joe Block. So I can add this data row to my web service where I have this field and in the field, the value, and don't forget the column as the um, attribute. So I run this and you see I only get Joe Block. Notice that um, you can't use wildcards in this web service, in the query data web service. Um, you could if you would um, make the filter a free um, parameter. Then you could use the um, filter with a wildcard because it's passed um, directly into the SQL behind the where clause. But yeah, as I mentioned, um, that's, um, that would open the application to SQL injection and we don't want that. Uh, also, the percentage um, uh, won't work as a wildcard. You have to use the whole um, name and I believe you have to use the right um, upper lower case writing as you see here. Now I can copy this field and for example um, also use the value field I specified which is uh, Joe Block or so. I, I'm not 100% ah yeah okay. So yeah um, that's basically how you use the um, query data web service and yeah, you can use um, either one of the fields or no of, none of the fields. Um, it's up to you how you use this. Um, I hope this video helps you, um, maybe a little bit. If yes, then feel free to leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.